no, 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 Good morning. I'm uh, super glad I set up a bunch of pens last night because we're going to fill them all. This is a lot of lambing. Did you have your baby? Yep. <laughs> Mama had another one after I put her in here, so she had four. One, two, three, four. Looks like Mama wasn't done. Uh... 
Step. I mean, it lasted pretty long. Yeah. We possibly have trouble. It's been busy. Like, we have not stopped this morning. Uh, but yeah, this one, she had some discharge earlier this morning at like four, but now it's a little bloody. So I have a feeling that something's going on. I think she's okay. She's just dilating. I think I feel a head and a foot, but her cervix is incredible. I think you're more than capable of doing it all on your own. I'll leave you to We got enough stuff to do. Well, <laughs> it's been like an hour and a half. She has not budged, but I know the baby's come the right way, and I have one that just lambs, so I'm going to bring her up. I'm not sure she's working on a second. It's a ewe lamb, so I'm going to bring her up. Hopefully. Got a nose I see over there. There. The slam is not good. Now that is my first rubber lamb. It's rubbery. There's no, no structure at all. Just like that last lambing group. And definitely a deformed face. Well, that's why it was taking her so long to have your baby. There was a problem. I mean, I couldn't have got my hand in anyway before, so I made the right choice to let her die, but there might be a lamp left. Yeah. It's a lamp behind her. You look a little more spry. Are you alive? Yep, you're good. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, it's got another one in there too. Uh, I think this one might be a... No, it's another deformed one. Yeah, rubbery and deformed for sure. No eyeballs. So I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna get these tested. Wow, they're pretty bad. Okay, good. Do you have milk? Because you might inherit a lamb. You <laughs> might inherit a little lamb. Is there anybody hungry though? No. Okay, now for you. You're doing good, huh? You almost got it all by yourself. I want you to push that. Yeah. 
Oh, you're so cute. Uh, back to you. There you go. How about it? I'm going to just tuck you for one more. Uh, you're good. Love it. Oh, Mama, you're having another one. What's going on? Sorry, Mama. I didn't see one. You must have been hiding. Darn it. You had some tough delivery. <laughs> This one's fine. As for like no deformities, but it wasn't positioned great. So it might have been alive and got jammed head back. I'm sorry. Sorry, honey. That's disappointing. We have everything up to date as of yesterday's lambs, and we are over halfway done lambing. I think I talked about that yesterday. Uh, so 58 have lambed, and there's 139 lambs recorded. They are not all alive. I don't think I've been saying that as I've been doing this. So we're still at two point, almost 2.4 now, 2.3965. So we've actually gone up a little bit uh, yesterday, which is not surprising. We've, we've had a lot of multiples, which has added to the workload. I don't know what it is between now and March. It might be the weather, but um, Carissa, both Carissa and I are just like on it this time. We seem to just kind of have a flow together that I found in March and even December, we just, we just, we got run down really fast and I'm, I'm not sure why. I think what's happening is we have enough twins in between all the triplets uh, and we have very few quads that it's just, it's made it just a little more doable or functional. And we're not fighting the weather. Like even in March, you're fighting cold lambs. Like they get cold fast. I had a, had a ton in March. Well, I think I wore a toque for the entire March lambing. So I'm not wearing it. I should be because I have so much gray hair. There is two, if not three lambing right now. We are just we're just zooming right through this group. Uh, Mark giggled this morning. He goes, are you going to be done by the weekend? I'm like, no. And then they haven't stopped. They haven't stopped all day again. So, uh, yeah, there's quite a few down there that need recorded tomorrow. On the Jess front, today was her uh, single dose chemo treatment. Uh, she had to go a bit early this morning and uh, she didn't wake up well. She doesn't wake up well anyway on a typical morning, but during chemo, it's been really, really tough. They left the house at about... 6 30 quarter to seven uh she had to be in london for eight to get a pick line put in and she googled it yesterday and she shouldn't have because she had herself pretty freaked out about it so i've been messaging mark most of the day and uh he said no it went really good it she said it actually hurt less than her iv lately just because her veins have like collapsed because she's she looks like a pin cushion she's just got holes everywhere she's miserable and uh it's really hard not being with her today this is the first appointment i missed and i've been stewing all day about it it's good for mark to go but i want to be there <laughs> i want to be there too but uh yeah she's got one more doctor's appointment on thursday and the weekend off and then she's back at it monday for the whole five days so just continue to think about her because uh it's horrendous it's absolutely worse than I even maybe thought. Anyway, that's the scoop on our little Jess. I better go check these mamas. There's one that's very loud out there. You're making a lot of noise, mama. <coughs> yeah. Just shaking. <coughs> yeah.
say, these ewe lambs, sorry it's so loud in the rain, not sorry about the rain, these ewe lambs have been very consistent on how they lamb. They get the nose and the two little toes out, which is perfect. And once they go to really spit out the head, they seem to get up, pop it out, and then lay down and spit, and it kind of all just flows out, and then it sort of flows out to the side of her, and then she looks back at them. They do a little talking, back and forth, and then she'll get up and start licking her lamb. But I like this time for them to figure it out, mom to calm down, baby to do some shaking and get the mucus off her face. That's a good lamb when they do that. So yeah, it's they've all sort of been doing the same thing, which they've been really, really good lambers and good moms. Got another one lambing down here. The other one is keeping tabs, so I don't know what she's next. She's hollowed out. As you were. You're getting it, Mom. You're getting it. Do you need help? Oh, I don't like that tongue. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Here, I'll go get I'll get it for you. Well, you say hi to everybody. And I'm gonna pull out your baby. Say hi to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Ready? Can we get you out of the speed? Yeah. And then she had another one. Where are you, buddy? Here we are. Okay, well I did sneak into the house uh, to see Jess. She is passed out on the couch. I think today they gave her Benadryl and uh, it's knocked her out. But so far Mark said he's been able to keep uh, her temp under control. But yeah, she's just, she's so pale and so sad. <laughs> I also took my cameras here and you number one is lambed and we have another one still, I think that one from earlier today still hasn't lambed. We can move this one. Hi little lady. <laughs> you get her buddy. You get your mommy. <laughs> oh my god. That's a good lamb. <laughs> Two more. One. Two. Don't forget about this one, Amos. There you go. Good girl. Lively. And I do bring this lady up. We have a bit of a traffic jam here, but she's not dilated. I can't, I can get my hand in, but there's no way I would get a lamb out. Uh, so she's gonna, unfortunately, she's gonna have to work away maybe an hour or more to soften a bit more. Now once she dilates, then I can <laughs> assist, but until then I cannot assist. But right now as it stands, there's like four little feet <laughs> and a head. So I do have to manipulate once I can get my hand in there, but like my hand is bruised. You can see it right right kind of right there between my thumb and my finger it's already bruised from just reaching in there yeah you I broke a, must have broke a blood vessel don't take it don't take it don't take it you're not taking it Got him out in the nick of time. Hey, buddy, are you okay? 
Okay, well, hanging out with Chris for the night check again because that you that um, I checked earlier tonight between Chris and I we did get them out tight squeeze mom still hasn't got up because she is likely in some shock but she's been licking the lambs laying down so she she's good I think so I'm gonna get her up here shortly and then this one was at the back uh, head was stuck out and a little foot but again just so tight so whether if I left it a little longer, maybe she would have had it, but cute little lamby. And mom loves it. And then, yeah, this beast was born. So, yeah, this is all from today. From here till to the end, basically. Good morning. I uh, have a couple really itty bitty lambs that have been just dropped and left. And a very nervous mom that seems to only like one, sort of. Also sort of scared of it. All right, well, we'll see what we can do. I don't know how viable these lambs are gonna be. Well, we officially have our first four orphans. That one, the one bigger dry one, I I wonder if it belongs to this one. It looks the most like her dried off lamb, but I don't know for sure. This one had a single, so I tried her, but she was beating, beating the baby up. And then this one had three, and they're fresh. 
So she just had them. She hates them. Like she was trampling them. So now it's off to the warm room. I'm gonna give them all a bath because they're disgusting. And then we're gonna leave them in the warm room and uh, get them fed up. And then the other baby I put in with the Pregtox mums for now because I know they're not gonna probably bother with her. And uh, it'll just be a bottle baby for now. It's too bad, it's a shame. That's our first bad mom. She's horrible. Get you guys washed up. You're so small. Oh, you're so goopy. No, you whole load of towels in my dryer and I forgot to bring them out. This one will be fine. But the other two, I don't know, you're pretty done. My three little babies. These ones are just so itty bitty. So small. Want a drink? <laughs> Look at you guys! It's only been an hour. Look at those tails! <laughs> Oh, they think you're their mommy because you're so much bigger. <laughs> oh, that makes my heart happy. Don't be jealous. We have successfully fed three babies. And now they have a little bigger home. Is she sitting on her lawn? Mom, you're like sitting on it. Sweet. Holy moly. You lamb. Hey girl. Good girl. Okay. We have two lambing and one just finished lambing. <laughs> and then that one's lambing right there. And then in the back. Already lambs. Hello, little mommy. You see how he knows? And. Lovely. That's a big lamb. I bet that's only a winner. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Oh. Your right here. I just want to give you a little hand. That's your baby. He's perfect. Do you have more than him? Can I touch you for another one? Can I? He's so sweet. Yep, you got another one here. Oh, that one just fell right out. It's tiny though. Tiny, tiny. 
little babies. That one's a boy too. Two boys? Are you a boy mom? Are you a boy mom? I think that's it. Good girl. Good girl. Two is perfect. Head, 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 head first, head first. Sorry, Mom, but... I was scared for a minute there. Okay, tagging is done. It took a while. As of yesterday, we have had 182 lambs recorded out of 77 ewes, 2.36. I think we've been in around 2.3 for a, a few days now. We may be down to a dozen, maybe 10, 12 left. And our due date was two days ago. Our due date was the 12th, today's the 14th, right? Yes. I would imagine by the looks of the udders, we're gonna have a couple more days to finish the rest before a reprieve. The reprieve usually is 10 days or so, and then the rest will trickle out, which is really annoying because we'll probably only have like five left for the second group. Yeah, we're um, we're getting down to the short strokes now, guys, and I'm very happy about it. Okay, what's the update for now? Thank you. 